Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the largest sub matrix with rearrangement problem. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1727. So in this problem we are given with a binary matrix of size m cross n and we are allowed to rearrange the columns of the matrix. That means we can move the columns of the matrix uh, any anywhere and replace with any other column in the matrix. So the main objective of the problem is to find out the area of the largest sub matrix within the matrix where every element of the uh, sub matrix after reordering the columns is one so suppose you have this sample example one matrix so we have three cross three uh, size matrix so if you move the third column this third column if you move to the second position second column position and second to the third so you can get a uh, sub matrix of size two cross two with all the elements as one and I think this is the uh, maximum possible uh, size of the sub matrix where each and every element can be one. So this is the possible answer. So the answer will be 2 cross 2 equal to 4 because there are 4 uh, cells with 1. So let me uh, just tell you about the intuition once again. So the problem asks for the area of the largest sub matrix containing ones after rearranging the column pro optimally. So this is the problem statement and the solution uh, which I have thought that involves pre-processing of uh, matrix that is the first step. First of all we will do the, some pre-processing. In pre-processing we will store the height of consecutive ones ending at each cell and then for, for, uh, then for each row we are going to sort the heights in non-decreasing order and then calculate the area for each possible matrix. Now let's see through an example suppose we take this sample example one and next try to explain you so this was the sam the exam input matrix so now we are going to do some pre-processing and pre-processing is what you in pre-processing you store the height of consecutive ones after adding the previous height so suppose we for this cell we have a previous height of one and current height of one so one is added to previous height and uh, uh, stored at the at that particular index so this becomes 2 whereas for this index or this index the previous was zeros so there are no change in that because 0 is added to that so that makes no sense and for this the previous was 1 so it becomes 2 and for this previous was 2 so this becomes 3 so this is the pre-processing of the matrix now the next step is uh, like sorting of the each row and then after sorting of the each row the area of sub matrix is calculated and how the area is calculated the area is actually given by the height into width so the height is the height of the consecutive cells consecutive ones ending at the particular cells that we have already calculated using pre-processing and the width is the position of the cell in the sorted array so width is calculated using the position of the cell in the sorted array and now we have to simply update the maximum area accordingly by multiplying the height into uh, width and checking if it is the maximum or not and then we can simply return the answer. So this was the approach to the problem. So now let's come to the coding section but before that please remember to like the video, share, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So first of all we will define uh, sorry so our first step was uh, pre-processing of the data so in the pre-processing of the data we need to define the length of the grid first because we need to make uh, looping convenient so we are defining here the length and then for uh, pre-processing we are going to start from the first row because if you start from the 0th row you will go check for the index of i minus 1 and for 0 it will become uh, array index of minus 1 so it will throw array index out of bounds error so that's why you have to check from first index 
इसने लिया वाई प्लस प्लस जे वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो एंड जे विल गो टिल एन जे प्लस प्लस एफ मैट्रिक्स ऑफ आई एंड जे इक्वल इक्वल टू वन देन इन दैट केस मैट्रिक्स ऑफ आई एंड जे बिकम्स it will be i minus 1 so this is our pre processing part this part is done with the pre processing so we'll now be having a pre process uh, matrix already then we store the answer this is to store the answer then for you can use a int array instead of the var which i have used here but that does not make much difference so we'll be now sorting the rows and then we are going to loop from n minus 1 and we need to also define a k equal to 1 here and j should be greater than equal to 0 because it is an index and row of j should be greater than 0 because we are we only need the uh, cells with the ones we don't need the cells with the uh, zeros so till the row of j is greater than 0 we are going to loop uh, continue the j loop and then otherwise j minus minus so here we are defining the area so row into k is actually the area of the particular uh, sub matrix and we'll check if the area of the particular sub matrix is the maximum of all the answers and we'll store it in the answers and then finally we are going to return the answer now this is the code let's try to submit it for the sample test case There is some error here. I think uh, there will be a comma here. Okay, so that sample test cases are passing. Let's run it for the hidden test case as well. So yeah, okay, it passes the hidden test cases as well, and uh, good uh, time complexity. But the space complexity is fair. not uh, excellent i would say but the space complexity which we have used according to the big o notations is actually constant it is o of 1 since we are using no other uh, space for uh, variable except for the variables uh, we are not using any other space and the time complexity for this is m into n uh, into log of n because we are sorting the Arrays so that uh, particular rows so that that will take n log n. It will take n log n because we are only sorting the uh, rows. And for uh, the other part that is uh, m cross n. So from here we get m notation and this part takes n cross n. So the time complexity becomes m into n cross. m into n into m into n log <laughs> i know that was a little confusing so the time complexity is m into n log n and the space complexity is o of 1 so i hope you uh, understood the logic and you can do it in the interview if it comes this question and thank me later so thank you for watching the video have a nice day